Hello friends, today is part two in our tinnitus for nighttime series. Yesterday we talked about why tinnitus is more bothersome at nighttime. Today we're gonna to talk about strategies you can implement to reduce the impact tinnitus is having when you go to bed. I'm Dr. Maria Morrison, audiologist, and I am your expert in hearing healthcare. Now, there are several strategies you can implement to reduce tinnitus at night. First is enrich your bedtime with sound. So when you're going to bed at night, you wanna use some type of sound. It could be a white noise generator, it could be a fan, it could be an app on your phone. The type of sound does not matter as long as it's not bothersome and it's not too loud. So when we talk about not bothersome, we want the sound to be soothing and relaxing, right? We already have a bothersome, annoying, frustrating sound in our head. We don't need to add another one to our environment. So choose a sound that you like to listen to. Second is the volume level. That sound that you're using should not mask or cover up your tinnitus. You should be able to hear both of them pretty equally. So that's the first step is just enriching your environment with sound. The second step is having a regular routine, meaning I want you to go to bed at the same time every night and wake up at the same time every morning, regardless of whether it's a weekday or a weekend. If you have a regular bedtime routine, you're more likely to get better sleep. Third is your environment. We wanna make sure it's nice and dark and it's at a cool but comfortable temperature. If there's a lot of light, in our bedroom, it's gonna make it difficult to sleep. If it's too hot or too cold, we'll have difficulty sleeping. Research shows the room should be a little cool, but not freezing, right? And then the fourth and kind of most difficult step for patients is reduce electronic use before bed. So that means your screens, so phones, tablets, computers, TVs, when we're looking at a screen before bed, that's signaling to our brain, we're staying awake, we're not ready to go to bed. So you want to try to get rid of some of those screen times about a half hour to an hour before you're actually ready to go to bed. Now the very last step is relaxation exercises. When I work with patients, I talk about creating a routine for bed that includes relaxation exercises. So it could be deep breathing, maybe some muscle, progressive muscle relaxation, some imagery. You want to calm the body and get it ready for bed. If you follow these steps, it should improve your sleep. It should reduce the impact that tinnitus is having at night. If you have any further questions about tinnitus, don't forget to leave it in the comments. And of course, if you want more videos, more information on hearing healthcare topics, you have to like and follow. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Till next time.